reading out of Psalm 78, one verse, verse 38, says this. But he, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity and did not destroy them. Yes, many a time he turned his anger away and did not stir up all his wrath. You know, the simple fact is, is that God is full of compassion, grace, and mercy. Amen. Without that, I know where I would be. And so looking out upon our audience, I know where you would be. So let's be thankful that uh, God um, is full of compassion and loves us even when we don't deserve it. Right? right. We have to go and walk towards him because of his grace and mercy. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Father, this morning as we bow before you, we just want to take time to just give you praise, Father. You alone are worthy. You, Father, are full of compassion. You're full of grace and you're full of mercy, Father, and you extend that to us daily. And for that, Father, we just give you the honor to your name. We know, Lord, that this world um, is struggling and there will come a time, Father, when your anger will be unleashed. And yet, Father, I pray that your people would bow their heads on a daily basis to seek your face. Lord, bless this service that we would then go forth from this place and be a blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, as you all know, you can go to ccfv.life and see everything I'm about to say. And it's so important because you know that you can find what's going on um, online. So, yes, you can. You can find. <laughs> Here's the point. We're only going to go through a few things um, this morning. But there's a lot going on, and we have one bulletin for the month. And so you grab one, and, and it'll tell you kind of what's going on. But sometime during the middle of the month, you may need something um, you need to find out about something, you can go online. Um, we are, we are going to have a child dedication in November, and so you can sign up at ccfv.life, um, and um, then we can um, pull that off and dedicate our child. We don't do child baptism, we do dedications. Today, Deb and I get to leave for Indonesia this evening, and so we would uh, solicit your prayers while we're gone. Um, and know that we're representing you so, in Soe, in Jakarta, in a number of places that we will be. We represent uh, Calvary Chapel, French Valley. Um, pray for Brandon. He is healing. Um, he had to go into the hospital for a little bit and uh, came out. And that parasite, I guess, is mostly gone. But continue to pray for his health as well. And um, we're going to be giving out at the Soe Orphanage the diapers that Tia coordinated and we got for the babies. And if you want to donate any other funds towards a gift for Brandon and uh, you need his new baby, let me have that before I leave or see Deb. Other things that are going on, there's going to be, starting on November the 10th, an adult life group uh, at the uh, uh, church office. Um, find out what that is, you know, come and be a part of a fellowship together. As Pastor Rick talked about last week, we need to fellowship. And that's one way to be able to do that. So you can find out more um, on ccfv.life. Uh, Operation Christmas Child. Number of things going on. Next week is the last week to return what you have taken the boxes, okay? Um, that's important because you can pick up boxes today, but they have to be returned next week. And then on November the 18th, the men's and the women's group um, at 8 o'clock at the church office are meeting together to box all that stuff up and to get it and put it into um, the box that we have to take to Samaritan's purse. Right, Kevin? What else? Go ahead. Stuffing We're stuffing boxes as well. So you can bring things and, it, it, you know, bring your kids. Bring everybody on that morning because it's going to be a great time of um, fellowship, but also doing something that blesses uh, the kids that are around the world, literally around the world. So it's... Um, Men's prayer breakfast day, but we're inviting everybody to come to be a part of that. And we're still doing the breakfast. And we're, uh, the men are cooking breakfast for yes. you. 
So if you want a, a good breakfast, not that the ladies don't have good breakfast, but I know what the men do, you know? And so come and have breakfast on the men's group as well. Um, and then uh, starting next uh, Sunday, there will be a Love and Action food drive. You can get more information about that. And then, uh, you know, one of the things that uh, we're seeing is our youth are getting more and more active. And I, I just want to thank um, our youth leaders. You guys have done a good job. <laughs> but starting today, the youth are going to be selling tickets uh, for you to purchase to help support them. Um, and in a couple of weeks, November the 19th, the day, the uh, Sunday before um, Thanksgiving, you'll be able to get a burrito, okay? So buy the, buy the tickets from the youth group. They only cost $5, and then on that day, you'll get your burrito, okay? Um, support our youth. Everybody hear that? Support our youth, right? All right. Um, okay. Pray for our country. One of the things the Lord has been showing me is that we need to pray for repentance, and we need to pray for revival because we need it badly. And so be in prayer over our country. Those things are things that we need to see begin to happen. Um, also pray for Israel. Um, I, you know, I've been praying that the, the veil would be taken off the eyes of the Jews because there's so much that covers their eyes. Um, that veil is huge. And we need to be in prayer over that, that they have that veil taken off that they can see with spiritual eyes. Amen? Amen. So with that, um, as soon as uh, I finish praying again, we'll have you stand and greet one another, uh, and then David will lead us into worship. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that uh, we can come together uh, in freely, Father. Think of how you've blessed us with the ability to come and uh, to hear your word, to sing your praises. We pray, Father, for Pastor Rick, that as he starts this series in uh, the book of Joel, that you would equip us to hear your voice to do your will. Be with Pastor Rick, Father. Put your hand of protection about him and touch him in a special way. That as he teaches, Father, as he studies and then teaches, that you would speak through him. We do pray for this country. We need you badly, Father. We pray for repentance. That across this land, that your churches, your, your believers, would be bold in presenting Jesus Christ and coming before you. And then, Lord, help revival to start even with us this day. We pray for Israel, Father. You tell us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Help us, Father, to see the importance of that. Be with our leaders here and there, Lord, that they would be able to see Jesus and him crucified as the answer. I think of that one football player, Father, when he was asked, what's the answer? He said, we need to turn to Jesus. Father, help us to turn to Jesus. Bless this service that your name would be high and lifted up. We praise you and give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. If you'll stand and greet one another.